They fascinated us for centuries. They're the subject of a lot of Hollywood blockbusters out there, and they can scare the crap out of a lot of people. This week, we're talking about tornadoes and tornado safety on this edition of Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back to answer your questions about the weather. We're gonna wrap up our severe weather awareness series with uh, one of the most terrifying types of severe weather, and they're called tornadoes. And to be honest, when people find out that I am a meteorologist, this is one of the topics that they always seem to ask me about. So let's talk a little bit about tornadoes, their dangers, and what you can do to stay safe. Tornadoes are most common in the United States east of the Rocky Mountains in three regions, the Great Plains, the Midwest, and the South. And they've been reported in every single month of every single year, but the most common time for tornadoes in a calendar year is between March and June. Here in the United States, we get about 1,200 reports of tornadoes every single year and we get more violent tornadoes than any other country on Earth. Sure, tornadoes are scary, but there are things that you can do, no matter where you are, to stay safe during a twister. If a tornado warning is issued for your area, the very first thing you should do is get to the lowest possible level of whatever building you're in. And if that building has a basement or storm cellar, you should go there. Next, you wanna find the smallest room in the center of that lowest floor. And what we're looking for here is either a, a closet or a bathroom or something like that. But if you don't have a small room in the center of that floor, make sure that you stay as far away from walls and windows as you possibly can. The idea of tornado safety is to put as many walls between you and the tornado as you possibly can. That way when the tornado starts throwing debris at the house, the debris will have more walls to get through before it can get to you. Finally, make sure that you cover your head. You can use a helmet, you can use a book, you can use a pillow, you can use a mattress, anything that you can get your hands on to cover and protect your head. Most people who die in tornadoes are killed by flying debris, not because they got sucked up into the tornado. So whatever you can do to protect your head from that flying debris, is gonna help you survive the tornado. If a tornado warning is issued and you live in a mobile home, get out. You need to seek shelter in a more sturdy structure. Mobile homes can tip over very easily in any type of tornado. So make sure that you seek shelter in a more sturdy structure and follow those instructions that we talked about before. Lowest level, center of that floor, small room, making sure that you cover your head. If you're in a car and you see a tornado that's far away, you might be able to escape it by driving at right angles away from the tornado, but don't try to outrun it. If you can't escape the tornado, stop your car, keep your seatbelt fastened, and crouch down in your car just as low as you possibly can, making sure that you cover your head at the same time. Remember, flying debris is what kills most people in tornadoes. So whatever you can do to cover your head, especially in that type of situation, is gonna help you survive. It's important that you keep these safety tips in mind and develop plans for the places you frequent the most. And if you can, run through that plan a few times at each one of these locations. That way, when the emergency happens, you'll know exactly what to do and where to go. And that'll do it for this edition of Weather 101. Remember, if you have a weather-related question, just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. You can also tweet me your questions at weather101net, or you can also post them on our Facebook page at weather101net. Until next time, see ya.